hi everyone welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how to make a simple satin reversible bonnet um this bonnet is so simple and very very beautiful so we're gonna be using two types of satin i'm using um a pattern one which is the white and black and a plain one so this kind of bonnet you can turn it either either to the yellow side or to the pattern side let's jump right into the video i have my material cut out already i measured 30 for the length and 30 for the width also so i folded it into four Fold it into two, then you fold it into four. So the sacon, sacon, mm -mm. sa 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 sacon, mm -mm. circumference. Okay, for you to determine the circumference of the circle, it depends on how big or how small you want your bonnet to be. And for me, the radius I'm gonna be using is 15, so it's gonna be a bit bigger. So now let's measure how the the radius 15. You turn it to the wrong side so that your chalk is not gonna stain the right side. And to measure the radius, you put the tape rule at the point where the cloth is being folded, then you move it around. So we're measuring 15. Then we join the dotted lines together. We join the dotted lines together, then you cut it out and it's going to look like a cone. So now we have the circle soon and this is the end point and the starting point so you leave some space you can leave like three inches so that you'll be able to fold it out so this is the three inches i left so from there you turn out your material you turn out your material from there And you straighten it out, straighten it out, straight out the edges. Then you turn on your iron to iron out the edges and make it neat. The way I iron my edges, I sp spread it out like this, and I iron it. I iron it round before I now take out the tips to iron. But you can hire on whichever way is convenient for you. But for me to get a very edgy tip, that is what I do. So now let's hire on it and see the result. You hire on it, that makes sure the tips are well laid. Then from the opening, and you remember the opening we used to turn it up, you start sewing from there round. So now we want to make a space for the elastic. So you can measure um, because I want to leave some ruffles for her at the edges of her bonnet. So I want to measure like two inches backward. But let me make it one and a half because I don't want the ruffles to be too much. So you measure one and a half. And keep measuring one and a half round about. I 
after sewing it round then you use um your safety pin put in the the elastic and you bring it out at the other end so you can see that our bonnet is pin lines now and clip the safety pin together so turn it so then you you make sure you kind of like spread out the the bonnets across the elastic for you to get an equal fold of it around the elastic so that the ruffles are just gonna be fine. 